Hey guys, welcome back to another Team Fortress 2 comic dubs, and today I'm going to um, be reading Meet the Director. If you could pick one word to describe yourself, Mr. Monday, what would it be? Uh, well, I'm going to answer that for you, victim of the educational system, of the Royal Society has shackled you as an Australian, of course. And let's not forget the current administration which- Wait. Back up. What did these folks do to me again? Force you to be a killer? For the last time, mate. I'm a professional. Exactly. A victimized professional killer. An assassin. A murderer. A deranged psychopath. Let me- it. Let me in, Mr. Mundy. How do these words make you feel? Like choking the life out of your body. Oh look, we're here! You can put them next, next page. Oh man, the, the, uh, this comic is like an old comic. It's like, it, 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 an old comic, that's it. Oh jeez, it's loading slowly. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to turn to the picture one. Are you kidding me? I'm back! I finally fixed the page. Do not. Okay, there we go. Um. Well, let's get to work. You coming, fancy pants? You have a disease, Mr. Mundy. Do not. Don't ask me to enable it. I wait in the barn. Right. Remind me why we have to talk to that this half wit again. In a word, PR. The administrator sees this as a perfect opportunity to show the good people of Badlands you're not just armed psychopaths blowing up all their landmarks on a daily basis. Next page. Trying to load the next page. Okay, there we go. Of course, this is a perfect opportunity, Miss Polly. To spy on the armed psychopaths, we're paying to blow up each other, each other up on a daily basis. This director is the perfect dupe. He's too stupid to divine our reasons for commissioning him. Too arrogant to listen to anything our mercs are actually telling him, and he records. Everything. Is all of the. Is all of this surveillance surveil necessary? Most of the men's are cured subnormal. Plutonia evidence isn't smart, Miss Pollen. That doesn't mean if. It won't kill you. If you don't make depths on where it is and it's doing at all times. I was given your file. Let's talk about your childhood. Your father was a counter-revolutionary. When he was killed, you, your mother, and you, your sisters were deported to a North Siberian gulag. Paint me the picture. No. This is my gun. I like to shoot this gun. Is all you need to know. If your family want only lived in the gulag for three months. In December 1941, it was burned to the ground. All of the prisoners had escaped, all of the guards had been killed, tortured to death. I like to shoot this gun, is all you need to know. Fine. Tell me, tell me about the gun. She weighs 100 she was 152 kilograms, fires 200 dollar cartridge and cartridge. Oh my god. <laughs> more, of a, more of a mentor to the rest of the team, you know? I see how they would could be doing their jobs better. It don't, it don't matter how busy I am. I'll drop what I'm doing and tell them. And why? We ran out of film five hours ago. I'll tell you why, because I'm a team player. Probably the best team player of the team. 
We ran out of film five hours ago. That's okay. You could buy some more. I got tons more to say. We'll wait for you. Man, what a jack game. So how are you doing, Miss Pollen? Hey, you have it? You ever see my me with my shirt off? Cause it's awesome. No, I don't think Sun Sun Tzu wrote any books about punching through rip man's rip cage. Huh. Tell you what, what I'm going to do, then. Stop making threatening phone calls to the bookstore. Come here. I want to show you something the man of letters tell, like yourself would appreciate. Ta-da! Heads. Everyone on, on the red team, ma'am. Oh yes, I think we've got more than enough. No one's phone is ringing outside. <laughs> uh, did you think we would? Wait, who's talking? I don't know who's talking. <laughs> did, did you know we wouldn't see what was really happening? Nobody asks a train killer questions like that unless they're an idiot or they're up to something. So, oh, spies, spies talking. Okay. <laughs> so now we are asking the question. I was strongly urged to answer them. Sniper? Oh, I've got questions, all right. Like I ain't. Like I ain't a big bloody co coincidence how one week after I talk about my. me, mum, and. me, mum, and dad in an interview, soon to be a dead man's mailing me. Pictures of him. I messed up on the Starbucks Wars. God dang it. I also got pictures in the mail of my home. I will find this man. I will destroy this man. That's your gun there? Yes. In a tiny bed beside you? Yes. That's pretty embarrassing. Yes. I must find Sasha in a better bed. That is nothing. Look what I got in the mail. I am also going to drop it on the floor like all of you did. Whose head is that? Mine. The question is, where are the other seven? These are my heads. Do not take my heads. <laughs> First off, gentlemen, let me thank you for shooting yet another messenger. And when you kill the messengers, they can't return their miniature televisions, which it may surprise you to learn to you to learn don't grow naturally on their chests. I have to buy them. Secondly, let me solve your little who done it. I sent you those pictures. My heads. Yes, I took the heads too. Rest assured, they have been destroyed. No! The photos, Mr. Doe. Your heads are safe. I merely wanted to illustrate the dangers of discussing the terms of our contract with anyone. Granted, this example is absurd. But imagine if I were some how false to use the information I now have about you, against you. Imagine some ridiculous hip hypothetical scenario where we weren't the close personal friends I know we are. Well, I think we've wasted enough time with fantastical yarns. I believe we have to come to an understanding, gentlemen. Enjoy your evening. I am back, and um, I had to go to eat. <laughs> um, a mine. She wants to conduct her interview in a mine. She prefers the acoustics. I suspect you are misunderstood here, like you misunderstand everything. God, you're useless. Well, let's get this farce over with. Hello? Hello? Keep walking, she's further in. Past these white canvas tops. Ooh, perfect. Stand on those, I'll be right there. Pauling. 
didn't work. Yep, walked right in. Good. I told you not to waste time with an elaborate backstory. I just had a pleasant chat with our mercenaries. We should have all of the leverage we need. Should I hold off on your interview? He never got a chance to talk to Blue. No, he's a liability. Do the interview. Then get back here as soon as you can. We'll need to find some new directors. Alright, so um, this comic was for the... Is that the hook? Yeah. This comic was for the... Um, actually, I should turn to this page. <clears throat> as I said before, the, uh, this comic was um, for the Sexy Awards first annual sexy awards which is pretty cool so uh yeah i really like this comic because i've heard a uh, comic dub on it so i wanted to do it as well and test it and i also want to test my um british accent so uh yeah i guess it was the perfect time to do it so um i'll meet you guys on the next team fortress 2 comic um i forgot what it was called but uh yeah i'll see you in the next video Bye-bye.